Hello and welcome to this episode of Positively Negative. I'm particularly excited today to be sharing my Pentax SV. This Pentax SV is my favorite camera in my collection. It is the camera I take with me almost everywhere. And the reason for that is that it has been in the family for 60 years. Um, it was my grandfather's camera, it was my father's camera, and now it's my camera. And it's been my companion since I started this film photography journey about three years ago. The Pentax SV is a 35mm single lens reflex camera from Pentax. Uh, it dates from the early 1960s, so it predates things like the K1000 or the ME Super, which are, are more well known. The SV is an entirely mechanical camera. It has no light meter inside, there's no electronics, there's no electronic shutter or anything like that, and so it doesn't need any batteries, uh, which is great because you never have to remember to charge anything. The camera has shutter speeds ranging from 1 second to 1 1,000th of a second and a bulb mode. It uses a standard shutter release cable, which is great. It has a self timer so that you can take selfies. On the top plate, it has an ISO reminder so that you can remind yourself what ISO film is in the camera. That's not linked to a light meter, so it's, it's really just there as a reminder. I never use it, however, because I forget to set it, so I forget to remind myself what film I've forgotten is in the camera. As far as I'm concerned, I think the Pentax SV is a masterpiece of design. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the geometry of it. It's got these sharp but somehow rounded edges. The dials and all the controls are laid out exactly where you'd expect them to be. It's almost like it's the logical conclusion of camera layout and I much prefer it to modern digital cameras and their endless menus and things. The SV's viewfinder is lovely and bright. There are no distractions in there. There's no shutter speed readouts. There's no any information of any kind. Um, you don't even have any focusing aids really. There's only a little patch in the center of the frame um, which is a little bit brighter than the rest that you can sort of use to help you focus more easily. Uh, I find focusing the camera to be a breeze because the viewfinder is naturally bright and things just sort of pop into focus as soon as, they, as soon as they're in focus and it's very easy to see when something's in focus. So if you're somebody who, who's scared of manual focusing, um, like I was and still am to a certain extent because my eyesight's not particularly good, um, I think the SV is a good choice because the uh, viewfinder makes focusing easy. If I can focus, you can focus. The Pentax SV uses M42 mount lenses, also called screw mount lenses, which are plentiful. The lens that lives on this camera mostly is the Super Takuma 55mm f1.8. I sort of see this as the camera's kit lens. The M42 lens mount system is, is, is old, it predates things like the Pentax K mount, which you'll find in the K1000. But that doesn't mean for a second that the lenses are inferior. In fact, a lot of the screw mount lenses are, are famous for their quality. They are also plentiful and affordable online. And you can mount them to digital cameras using adapters and things, which is, which is really exciting and cool as well. The winding mechanism is smooth and it makes a very pleasant ka-chunk. Ooh. Stunning. The Pentax SV seems uh, less popular on the internet. If you do some research into the camera online, you'll find less information than you would on, say, um, the uh, Spotmatic or K1000 or ME Super or those sorts of later Pentax cameras, which I find interesting and it's a little bit of a pity. Perhaps there were fewer of them made, perhaps they were less popular at the time, but I think in terms of quality, uh, you can't really go wrong with the Pentax SV. I want to talk a little bit about shooting without a light meter. Growing up in the digital age, there was always a perception that shooting film was more difficult than shooting digital. That you had to be more precise with your exposures or else you'd ruin everything. That may be true for slide film, but for negative film, you have a surprisingly wide exposure latitude. Negative film is very forgiving, in other words. I actually think that black and white negative film is more forgiving than shooting digital. Um, especially in terms of overexposing. So I find the lack of a built-in light meter is not a distraction or not a limitation at all. In fact, I think it sort of frees up the process a little bit. I find myself less concerned about nailing exposure and more concerned about capturing moments, about framing, about you know nailing focus, those things. I would also recommend the camera to anyone who, who is looking for a more mechanical experience, um, uh, things like a lack of electronics, a lack of a light meter, a more sort of organic uh, metallic feeling system uh, really going for that vintage look you know what's the point of shooting film if you're going to be using 90s SLR cameras that work just like digital cameras right it's, there's no fun in that um, he says knowing that he has a Nikon F50 lying right there 
anyway. So with the SV, you're getting that genuine uh, vintage feeling, but it's laid out so cleverly and it works so well that, you know, it becomes an extension of your arm very quickly. So what are alternatives to the SV? Um, the Pentax K1000 is obviously the famous one. I think the SV is a much better camera. I have a K1000. It doesn't feel nearly as good. It feels cheaper. It makes more noise. It's bigger. Um, and the K mount system is good, but I have a whole bunch of M42 mount lenses. So I end up using them on an adapter on my K1000 anyway. So what the K1000 has over the SV is a light meter. It has the needle, the needle point light meter, which, uh, which is very effective, it works very well, but that's really the only benefit. The rest of it, it feels cheaper, it's got a plastic winder, it uh, doesn't sound nearly as nice. It, it, it feels like an amateur camera, where the SV feels like a professional camera. And I think these days the K1000 is actually, uh, it's more expensive if you buy it now, because it's, it's well known. You know, it's, it's sort of on every top 10 list of beginner cameras, you'll see the K1000 there somewhere. Ignore that, the SV is better by the SV. Looking at sample photographs with an SLR camera is a bit funny for me because at the end of the day the camera itself is just a, a light tight box and it's the, len the lenses themselves that are actually you know the most important factor in, in, in the look of the photograph. Well actually the photographer is the most important part of the photograph. Um, but I'll show you some pictures I've taken with the camera in any case. And uh, so you can have a look and see what the, especially the Super Takuma lenses are capable of and what, what a Pentax SV is capable of um, in skilled hands such as mine. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Positively Negative. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.